All right. Well, it's a pretty nice night out here. I'm in Montana tonight. Got my pork chop ready to cook. It's a nice night, so I'm going to go ahead and cook outside here. But today's April 8th. And, right, yeah, April 8th. A year ago today, I left home to Goshen, Indiana to go to orientation to start hauling RVs. Um, so I just thought I'd make a quick video. If anybody really cares, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm developing it. I'll try and get some better content as I learn what I'm doing. But I'm... Um, I'm at a rest stop for the night in in Montana, just off of 80 or 94. But Rosebud, I don't know if that's exactly the name of the town or not, but that's where I'd be at tonight. And I don't know if that will focus enough. You can read that. Kind of gives the history of this valley going back to July 28, 1806. So, but anyways, so I've been hauling RVs for a year now. I really enjoy it. Um, Synergy RV Transport, who I leased on with to start with, still with them. You know, they've pretty much done everything that they said they were going to do for me. Uh, walk out here and look at the view but anyways things I would do different now that I've been doing it a year since I already had my class A CDL I really would have considered buying a semi and a trailer and doing hauling a flatbed that I could haul more trailers at a time would be one thing and if I wasn't if I wouldn't have done that you know I was I bought a brand new pickup and didn't have a lot a lot of money to put down on it and so now I got a big fat truck payment every month pickup payment uh, so if you're thinking about doing this make sure you got some money set aside because I really enjoy, enjoy doing it. But you can't can't slow down very much. Got to keep going. They got a sign out here. Watch out for rattlesnakes. So, Although it's a little bit cool right now. But they're probably going to start coming out. But I guess this riverway used to be a major transport route. Before the railroad and roads came in. But anyhow... Um, you know, I bought a new pickup thinking, you know, thinking, well, if I break down, I, I'm going to need that warranty. And I went through that 100,000 miles so fast that it really wouldn't have made any difference. Whether if I would have bought one that was slightly used or if I would have bought a new, you know, I would have been better off buying one that's slightly used instead of the new one. And then, you know, having a smaller payment. But because when I got to Goshen, Indiana, a year ago, I had 1,800 miles on on my pickup, and now I've got 155,000. So I've racked up the miles. But this is one of the benefits of being on this job, getting to travel around and see places like this. The other thing that sucks is I'm away from home a lot. Wish there was a way my wife could come on the road with me, but there's really not right now. And not that she wants to spend all day in, in the cab of a truck, because that's the way we'd have to do it if she came on the road, just get a full-size semi. Um, got a couple people wanting me to go to work for them. But I think I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing for now. Anyhow, what happens if I turn my camera sideways? I guess I'll find out when I play this back. 
I don't know how to edit or anything yet. So, um, glad when I get that figured out. Maybe I'll find somebody that can help me. Maybe I can get my six-year-old grandson to help me figure out how to edit it. <laughs> but, yeah, this is Wyoming, or not Wyoming, Montana. Just over on the eastern side. I'm heading up to Great Falls, Montana, delivering this Keystone, Montana, to Montana. But I, I deliver a lot of these Montanas. They're pretty popular. But... Anyways, I guess I'll sign off. I'm just kind of rambling on. Um, if you got any questions, type them in. If you would, like and subscribe. I only got a few videos. And that's just going to be kind of on the road with Jeff. You know, I'll try and make some more here in the next week or so. Have a good one.